Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video from Bitcoin Gold. I'm Black Box and I'll be your host. Have you ever wondered if it was possible to see the profitability of Bitcoin Gold before you start mining? You bet there is. It's called what to mine. There are many new miners coming on every day. So even if you're some of the newest miners joining our family, this should still be easy to follow. So what exactly is what to mine? When you start mining a coin, you need to know that there are different types of cryptocurrency mining algorithms. My purpose today is not to dig too deep into the hashing algorithms, but rather you need to be aware of what coin you wish to mine and the algorithms associated with it. This part might be a little confusing. Bitcoin Gold uses an updated algorithm called Equihash BTG 1445, which is ASIC resistant. It is now referred to the Zhash algorithm. Zhash is the important thing to remember, as you will see in a few moments. But before we go any further, there's one thing that you need to do before we proceed. We will need your power bill. Now would be a good time to pause and go get that bill. Somewhere on your bill, you will see cost per kWh or kilowatt hour. It depends where you live in the world. There could be many factors. Let's use mine for example. If you look at the underlying amount, it says I pay 0 0.0549 cents per kilowatt hour. This would be fantastic if it was true. But in our country, they add in all these extra expenses. So to find my actual cost, I need to look at the summary which is $637.58. You take that amount and divide it by 5,097, which is my consumption, and you will see that it would equal 12.5 cents per kilowatt hour, not the 5.4 cents they claim I pay. Now, I know that some countries pay for nothing for power. Some don't have all these extra fees or taxes and some countries pay a lot. But now that you have that understanding as to your power costs, let's see what your profitability will be. So let's go to whattomine.com. The link will be below. It may look a little intimidating at first, but don't worry, we'll walk through it together. Up top where it says what to mine, you will see different titles as it says GPU, ASIC, coins, and so on. The two main tabs we'll be looking at are the GPU and coins tab. First, let's go to the GPU tab. That should be the default. We'll only go over this just quickly as this is geared more for comparing with other coins for profitability overall. So if you already know what your hash rate of other coins are, then you're probably familiar with using this calculator. If you're wanting to find out the profitability for mining Bitcoin gold alone, we can thank what to mine for providing us with this amazing section coins. Personally, I like it a lot. Under the coins tab, there are many different coins to choose from. So we're going to go down to Bitcoin Gold, which is down about seven in the first row, and you can click on it. Here I will give a brief description of the window in the left here, right over here. Okay, so now you see it says here under algorithm Zhash. We mentioned this before. This is our algorithm Zhash. Our block time, the last block that was found took 10 minutes and 15 seconds. The last block, this is the block in sequence 592,318. BL is the block reward. Bitcoin, Bitcoin gold reward is set at 12.5 BTG per block. Difficulty. This is the difficulty that varies. I want to take a minute just to explain the difficulty and maybe this makes a little bit better sense. So with difficulty it varies a lot. Sometimes a block is found in two minutes and other times it is found in 20 minutes. In order to bring it into the 10 minute per block range the difficulty needs to adjust either higher or lower. In other words if a block time is 10 minutes and a block was found in two minutes, 
the difficulty would spike up to let's say 360,000 for an example. The same goes for if a block was found in 20 minutes. The difficulty would drop below 260,000 making it easier to find a block. This would bring it back to the 10 minute mark. Now net hash. This is the network hash rate. This changes all the time. Okay, so now that we got this out of the way, let's go to the calculator. If you see the green active arrow here, you see right to the right, you see hash rate. This is where you input our data. For this example, I'm using an EVGA GTX 1060 SSC 6 gigabytes. I get about 40 souls and it consumes about 100 watts. So what we will do is we will change this to 40 and the power consumption is roughly about 100. Now we did mention that the cost was 12.5 cents per kilowatt hour. I leave the block, the block reward until the halving stays at 12.5. I leave the fees out. This would be for your pool fees. Uh, I also leave out the hardware cost because I just want a quick gauge to see how much it'll be. And then I press calculate. As you can see, it breaks down the profitability per hour, day, week, month, and year. This is based on current prices. And when the price goes up, that's when you'll see it reflected in those prices as well. Usually, Bitcoin Gold is one of the more profitable coins. Even someone with one graphic card with three gigabytes memory or more can successfully mine Bitcoin Gold and build your holdings. I hope you found this tutorial on what to mine helpful, and we are looking forward to producing more videos from other team members and myself. This concludes our video. I'm Blackbox. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Show me some love by hitting these likes.